Welcome to CSA Guru. In this session, we will discuss DSA VTU Model Question Paper 2024 Solution. Question number 8A. Define binary search tree. Construct a binary search tree for the following elements. Then traverse using in order, pre order, and post order traversal technique. Write recursive C functions for the same. This is an 8 mark question. So, first we need to define the binary search tree. So, here definition of binary search tree and the construction of binary search tree, it will carry 4 mark. Then if you are finding in order traversal, pre order and post order traversal with its recursive function, it will carry 4 mark. Okay. So, what I mean by binary search tree? So, binary search tree is nothing but here every element will have a unique key. That is all the elements present in the binary search tree will have a unique key. And the key is in a non-empty left subtree or smaller than the key in the root of the subtree. For example, if 8 is the root node in the sense, all the elements less than 80 will present in the left subtree. And all the elements greater than 80 will present in the right subtree. That is the meaning. Okay. So, for example, if you are considering this binary search tree in the sense, root element is 80. And all the left subtree elements, if you are considering in the sense, it should be lesser than 80. 65 is lesser than 80. Again, 60 is lesser than 65, also lesser than 80. And here 70, if you are considering 70 is lesser than 80, but greater than 65. So, it should present as a right subtree element. Okay. And also, the key is in a non-empty right subtree elements or larger than the key in the root of the subtree. So, if you are considering the right subtree elements, all should be larger than this root node. 100 is larger, 120 is larger, 90 is larger. Again, if you are checking here, 100, this is the root node for the subtree. 100 is the root node. Left side is lesser than the root node. Right side is greater than the root node. Okay, here also 65 you are considering. Left side is lesser than the root node. Right side is greater than the root node. So, this condition everywhere it has to satisfy. That is nothing but the binary search tree. The left and the right subtree are also binary search tree. So, this condition everywhere it should be satisfied. Okay. So, in a binary search tree, each element will have a unique key. And the key is in the left subtree or smaller than the root node. Key is in the right subtree or greater than the root node. Everywhere if you are checking in the sense, this property should be satisfied. This is nothing but binary search tree. Construct binary search tree for the following elements. So, first element here is 100. So, 100 will be considered as the root node. Next element is 85. So, whenever we are encountering an element, that element should be first compared with the root node. If it is lesser than the root node, attach this element as a left subtree element. Suppose if the new element is greater than the root node in the sense, attach that element as a right subtree element. So, here 85 compare with root node 100, it is a lesser element than 100. So, attach 85 as the left subtree element. Next element is 45, compare with the root node 100, it is lesser. So, go to its left subtree, compare with 85, 45 is lesser than 85. So, attach 45 as the left subtree element of 85. Next element is 55. Compare with the root node, it is a lesser element, go to its left subtree. Compare with the next element, 85, it is lesser element, go to its left subtree. Compare with 45, 55 is greater than 45, so attach 55 as the right subtree element of 45. Next element is 120, compare with the root node 100, 120 is greater than 100, so attach 120 as the right subtree element. Next element is 20, compare with the root node 100, it is lesser, go to its left subtree, compare with 85, it is lesser, go to its left subtree, compare with 45, it is lesser than 45. So, attach 20 as the left subtree element of 45. Next element is 70, compare with root node 100, it is lesser, go to its left subtree, compare with 85, it is lesser, go to its left subtree. Compare with 45, it is greater than 45, go to its right subtree. Compare with 55, it is greater than 55, so attach 70 as the right subtree element of 55.
5. Next element is 90. Compare with the root node 100, it is lesser. Go to its left subtree. Compare with 85, it is greater than 85. So, it should be a right subtree element of 85. Next element is 115. Compare with root node 100, 115 is greater than 100. Go to its right subtree. Compare with 120, 115 is lesser than 120. So, attach 115 as the left subtree element of 120. Next is 65. Compare with the root node 100, it is lesser than 100. Go to its left subtree. Compare with 85, it is lesser than 65. Go to its left subtree. Compare with 45, it is greater than 45. So, go to its right subtree. Compare with 55, it is greater than 55. So, go to its right subtree. Compare with 70, it is lesser than 70. So, attach 65 as the left subtree element of 70. Next element is 130. Compare with root node 100, it is greater. Go to its right subtree. Compare with 120, it is greater than 120. So, attach 130 as the right subtree element. Okay. Next element is 145. Compare with the root node 100, it is greater than 100. Go to its right subtree. Compare with 120, it is greater than 120. Go to its right subtree. Compare with 130, it is greater than 130. So, attach 145 as the right subtree element of 130. Okay. So, now we have completed the construction of the binary search tree for the given element. So, everywhere, whenever we are encountering a new element, compare with the root node. The first element will be considered as the root node. Okay. The next element and all, compare with the root node. If it is lesser in the sense, go to its left subtree. And everywhere in the left subtree, you need to compare. Every element you need to compare. Okay. And attach at the right place. Similarly, if it is a greater element in the sense, it should be attached as a right subtree element. So, every subtree if you are considering in the sense, it should be a binary search tree. The left subtree element, all the elements should be lesser than 100. And here right subtree element, all the elements should be greater than 100. So, everywhere for 85 if you are considering, the left subtree elements, all elements should be lesser than 85. See 45, 20, 55, 70 and 65, all should be lesser than 85. And right subtree element 90 is greater than 85. Likewise, in the binary search tree, wherever you are considering any subtree, it should be a binary search tree. Okay, left subtree element should be lesser than the root node. Right subtree element should be greater than the root node. Okay, so this is nothing but binary search tree. Next step is, we need to find the three types of traversals. That is, in order traversal, pre order traversal and post order traversal for this binary search tree. Already we know, what do you mean by in order traversal? Left subtree elements or the left node should be visited first, then the root element, then the right subtree elements. Pre-order in the sense, root node should be visited first, then the left subtree elements or left node, then right subtree elements or right node. Post-order traversal in the sense, left subtree elements first, then the right subtree elements and then the root node. This is the order of visiting in three types of traversals. Okay, first we will find the in-order traversal. So, here in order traversal, so whatever the traversal we need to identify, start from the leaf node. Okay, so leaf node, since it does not have any left subtree element or right subtree element, this will be in order traversal is 65 only. Okay, and next to consider node 70. So, here in order traversal is nothing but left node should be visited first, then the root node and then the right subtree node. There is no right subtree node, so leave it. And then 55 if you are considering. Left is first, then the root node and then the right subtree node. Right subtree node for in order traversal is 65 and 70. And next, consider node 45. And here leaf node, it is 20 only. So, for 45, in order traversal is left is 20, root is 45 and right subtree element is this one. That is 55, 65 and 70. Okay. Next, consider node 85. Here it is 90 only. So, 85 if you are considering, the left subtree elements are 20, 45, 55, 65 and 70. And root is 85, right is 90. So, now we have found out the in-order traversal for the complete left subtree and this is the result. Likewise, similarly we need to find for the right subtree. So, here it is 115 and here it is 145 since it is a leaf node. And for this node, left 
130. There is no left node. Root is 130. Right is 145. And for this node, left is 115. Root is 120. Right is 130 and 145. Now, the in order traversal for the complete binary search tree is, this is the left subtree node completely, right? This is left and then root is 100 and then right is 115, 120, 130 and 145. This is the complete in order traversal for this binary search tree, okay? So, in order traversal is 20, 45, 55, 65, 70, 85, 90, 100, 115, 120, 130 and 145. This is the complete in order traversal for this given binary search tree. Okay. And if you are considering here in order traversal, it will be in ascending order. C 25, 45, 55, 65, 70, it will be in ascending order. That is the clue to identify. Okay. Next is pre-order traversal. So, pre-order traversal in the sense, a root node should be visited first. So, consider here, for leaf node, it is 65 only. For all the leaf nodes, so the same values only. Here also it is 90, here also 115, 145. Okay, now for the node 70, if you are considering it is, root node is 70 and then root node left, right. Left is 65, there is no right. And for this node, root node is 55. Okay. And left, there is no left node. Right is 70 and 65. Okay. And for this node, if you are considering, root node is 45. And then left is 20. Right is 55, 70, 65. 55, 70 and 65. Okay. And for this node, if you are considering, root node is 85. And the left subtree elements are this one. 45. 20, 55, 70, 65 and the right subtree element is 90. So, this is the complete in order traversal for the left subtree and right subtree if you are considering here, this is 145, this one root node is 130, there is no left subtree node, right is 145 and for this node, root node is 120, left is 115, right is 130 and 145. So, now we will write it here itself. Pre-order traversal is root node is 100. This is the complete left subtree elements for pre-order traversal. That is 85, 45, 20, 55, 70, 65 and then 90. And right subtree is 120, 115, 130 and 140. So, this is the complete pre-order traversal for this binary search tree. Next is post-order traversal. So, post-order traversal for here, it is 65 only. And for this node, if you are considering it as post-order traversal, root will be visited at last. First, we have to visit the left subtree node, then right subtree node, then the root node. So, left subtree node here is 65, right subtree absent, root is 70. Okay. And then for this node, there is no left subtree node. Right subtree node, if you are considering it is 65 and 70, then the root node 55. And for this node, if you are considering here, it is 20 only. And for this node, if you are considering, it is left, right and then root. Left is 20, right is 65, 70 and 55, root is 45. And for this node, 85, if you are considering, here it is 90 only. And for this node, if you are considering, I will write it here. Left, right and then root. Left is 20, 65, 70, 55, 45. Right is 90 and then root is 85. So, this is the post-order traversal for this left subtree, complete left subtree. And here if you are considering, this is a root. This is a leaf node. So, it is 115 and 145. And for this node, left is absent, right is 145 and then root is 130 and for this node left is 115 right is 145 and 130 and root node is 120 and now this is the complete post order traversal for the left subtree this is the 
post order traversal for the right circle and this is 100 is the root node. So now the post order traversal is left first that is 20, 65, 70, 55, 45, 90, 85. Okay. And then right is 115, 145, 130 and 120. Root node will be visited at last in post order traversal. See here, here is the root node. Pre order traversal, first is the root node. And in order traversal, middle is the root node. So, this is the logic of implementing in order, pre order, and post order traversal. So, now here we have constructed the binary search tree and also we have found out the in order, pre order, and post order traversal for this binary search tree. This is the recursive C function for in order traversal, pre order traversal, and post order traversal. Okay. So, in order in the sense left side node, root node, and then right side node. This is the order of visiting the vertices. And pre order in the sense root node should be visited first, then the left side node, and then the right side node. And post order traversal, left side node should be visited first, then the right side node, and then the root node. Okay. This always you should remember. What do you mean by recursive function in the sense the function calls by itself? Okay. The user defined function calls by itself. So here this is void in order. User defined function is in order. In order of structure root node. Okay. And here if root not is equal to null in the sense that is the binary tree root node you have to pass as input first. And then if root node not is equal to null in the sense in order. This in order is the user defined function. This function calls by itself. The same function calls by itself in the sense that is called recursive function. Okay. So, here in order of root of left. If it is a root node is there in the sense go to its left subtree. That is the meaning in order of root of left. And left side if there are more number of nodes in the sense you have to implement in order of root of left. Okay, completely in order of root of left side subtree uh, you need to find. Then root of data. The complete left side subtree you have to find first. Then the root of data and then in order of root of right subtree. Okay, everywhere you have to implement the in order traversal. That is the left side node should be visited first. Then the root node, then the right side node. Okay, so this is the recursive C function for in order traversal. Similarly, pre order traversal, if you are considering in the sense, first you need to check the root node. If root node is not equal to null in the sense, first you have to print the data because root node should be visited first in pre order traversal. So, print the root node first. Then, pre order of left subtree, root of left, and pre order of right subtree, root of right. You need to find the pre order traversal for the left subtree and then the pre order traversal for the right subtree. Okay. And in this order, you have to print the vertices. Okay. This is pre order traversal. Similarly, post order traversal, if you are considering in the sense, if root node not equal to null in the sense, post order of root of left first we have to visit. That is left subtree completely you have to visit in post order traversal. And then post order of root of right. Then the right subtree you have to visit the vertices as per post order traversal. Okay. And then print the root. This is post order traversal. All these three functions are very easy to implement. Okay. So, this is the recursive C function. Next is, thank you for watching this video.